sexual perversion that goes on in Washington. I mean, it, being kind of a young guy in Washington, the average age is probably 60 or 70. And I look at all these people, a lot of them that I, you know, I've looked up to through my life, I've always paid attention to politics, guys that, you know, it, then all of a sudden you get invited to, like, well, hey, we're going to have kind of a, a, a sexual get-together at one of our homes. You should come. And I'm like, what, what, what did you just ask me to come to? Yeah. Uh, and then you realize they're asking you to come to an orgy. Yeah. Uh, or, or the fact that, you know, there's some of the people that are leading on the movement to try and remove, you know, addiction in our country. And then you watch them do, you know, a key bump of cocaine right in front of you. And it's like, wow, this is, this is wild. Did he say a kilo of cocaine? Well, a key bump, uh, key bump. <laughs> key bump, okay, I, I don't know the terminology. I haven't been invited to such fabulous parties. Anyway, that's Madison Cawthorn. Uh, maybe telling the truth, we're gonna debate it briefly. Uh, talking about people he looked up to, so presumably Republican politicians, maybe Republican lobbyists, I don't know, but people in DC. He doesn't sound like, like this sounds like a QAnon thing. That there's these elite sex parties, but he said he looks up to these people. So I'm assuming they're not Democrats. What do you think, Francesca? Is because he's a massive liar. Is he being asked to come to orgies by these Republican politicians? I mean, sh sure. You know what I mean? Like, I super believe it. Lindsey Graham, I mean, tell me you're not talking about Lindsey Graham. Hello. Uh, I think the, Graham for sure. Anyone who mentioned the words child pornography uh, during the hearing of Katanji Brown Jackson, they're definitely um, key swapping as well as key bumping. Uh, shuddering, I like, like part of me is just like, I need to go puke now thinking of some of these senators and Congress people oh. in any kind of like orgy situation, like I just imagine them with their like sort of like knobby knees and tall socks and just you know what I mean, walking around. Socks with like stay their, on. Full yeah, floors. socks are always on. It's just it's just a, a Rudy Giuliani because you just look. There's a lot of weirdos in 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 DC and there's and there's a lot of money and every time there's money and power, you're gonna have coke and orgies. It's probably gonna happen. That's true. That's me not experiencing either. Uh, okay, so we're not sure, but um, he's supposed to be brave, right? These are establishment Republicans that don't share your values. So why are you being so vague and anonymous? Why don't you name some names, Madison Cawthorn? And you know, I, I have a lot of zeal, I have a lot of charisma, I've got a, a lot of uh, aggression, and I don't, never back down. I'm happy to take those things on, but I realize 26 years old, I don't have a, a whole lot of wisdom at this age in my life. Uh, so I was very happy to get to team up with Speaker Newt Gingrich and have him get to help. So then like, why are you there? Like if you you attribute to yourself, I think in a weird way, okay, you have zeal, I guess. You're trying to indicate that you're a religious wacko and you're aggressive, sure. You love to threaten political violence and everything. Um, you have a lot of charisma, okay, I'll leave that to your base or whatever. Uh, but if you don't believe that you have wisdom, why would you think that you should be the representative in Congress for hundreds of thousands of people? Like think about that. You're supposed to have humility, by the way, if you're a Christian. So he is humble enough to know that he doesn't have wisdom, but thinks that he should lead all of these people. And look at all the missteps, Francesca. Just crazy scandals throughout, like a lot of them involving calls for further insurrections, gun stuff. He doesn't have wisdom. He's accurate in that, but it's consequential. I wish he would take it more to heart. Do I think? don't know. I, I think it's great. I think Madison Cawthorn's being, you know. Just fully transparent. Look, I am, uh, you know, um, I'm an empty vessel, and you can fill me with whatever nonsense. You, Russia, <laughs> hell yeah. Uh, January 6th stuff, well, let's take that too. I got a little bit of Gingrich. You just fill me up, and I will, I will literally just repeat anything you tell me to repeat. I'm a parrot. Yeah. Like I like that. Like, Basically. you know, someone's being a little honest <laughs> about it. Um, but he shouldn't uh, be in office. Right. No, we shouldn't be in any position of authority. I wouldn't trust him to manage employees. For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the damage report. And you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.